Assalamualaikum teman-teman cerita untungs Kisah Vince Focarelli seorang mantan gangster di Australia begitu mengharukan dan dramatis Anaknya tertembak di pangkuannya dan meninggal Sang anak melindungi ayahnya dari musuh hingga mengorbankan dirinya Papa, oh, papa, that was me calling me So I grabbed him by the shirt and I pulled him in And while I pulled him in the assassin, boom, boom Come on, it's I Four bullets in me They gave me, uh, I had a bullet in my skull, hmm. here. You said, what's the camera? Uh, there's a bullet here. Oh, if you can see the scar, there. Yuk mengenal lebih dalam sosok Vince Focarelli hanya di Cerita Untungs. Kalau teman-teman ketik nama Vince Focarelli di Youtube ya, akan keluar uh, kisah beliau 11 atau 12 tahun yang lalu masih ada beritanya bagaimana kejadian penembakan yang kemudian uh, di kejadian tersebut merenggut nyawa dari putranya gitu. Nah, kita akan tanya mungkin uh, prosesnya seperti apa. Do you remember the time and when when it happened the shooting oh, yeah. 11 years back? You still remember the date? You think uh, the 29th January the 29th 2012. January. Yeah. I mean the Do you know the, the the threat before or it just happened? Um, no, 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 I didn't. Uh, it was a very, very sudden. It was a very dangerous, it, it was a very dangerous time around that time. Mm. Uh, there was a few uh, planned hits on my life. Mm. Uh, but this this particular one, I, uh, you know, it was somebody close to me in the sense where we were doing business and mm. discussing things I never mm. would have imagined. You know, this individual would have taken on the role, the contract. Uh, but you know, that's his character, I guess. Mm. Look, I, I want to be honest with you, mm. brother. I, 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 whatever this guy's done, he deserves punishment in this life mm. and the next. He took an innocent life. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And I know in my heart and in my conviction, Allah will take care of him. Definitely in the next life, mm. he's uh, he's going to realize mm. uh, his damage. But even in this life, but. I, I don't, you know, what happened is that's the life. Mm. You know, if I was in his position and somebody offered me a million dollars, they offered him 900. Oh, he, he was being offered? No, no, they paid him 900,000 Australian dollars oh. yeah, for to take my life. Oh. Unfortunately, I, I don't want to say unfortunately, mm. my son was there. I want to say fortunately. Because if I say unfortunately, My oh, son okay. was there at the time, my stepson was there at the time, Johnny. Mm. Then I'm taking the, the honor of Allah mm. away. Mm. Allah, writ, writ was, his death was written by Allah. His mm. life was put into that mm. time to mm. go and take his soul. Allah mm. took care of that. That, that, that was Allah's qadr. Mm. So I'm going to say, fortunately, my son was there. Mm. Some people say, unfortunately, he was there and was caught in, the, uh, uh, in uh, mm. you know, what, what you call his collateral, de uh, yeah. colla collateral the damage. Yeah. Uh, that damage, you know. Um, but I'm at peace with a lot of things in regards to that because I, I know that Allah was in control of everything. Mm. So that's my peace, you know. Mm. The more I got into the deen, the more mm. I feel my peace. I, I I haven't got anything against the the devil there. Mm. Mm. He was just doing his job. That was the life, yeah. you know. He, there was no no honor or loyalty to me or anything mm. like that. He was. That's the life we live. Yeah. Somebody offered me a million dollars at that time. I would have. You know, taking it to. So he's to, loyal to the money. Loyal to the life, you know, oh. and that's what that. So I, I understand that mm. part. Mm. The part that I was deceitful was that we were close acquaintances, almost friends, you know, close mm. acquaintances where we did things and whatnot. And uh, he used that to his advantage to lure me that oh. day uh, to get what he wanted. It didn't work out for him. Mm. He wanted me into the tattoo shop and. He wanted me in there and uh, I said, no, no, let's go. I didn't want to hang around. And so, alhamdulillah, uh, things happen oh, for a reason. He's supposed to be taken in some other place. Yeah, he said, come inside, you know, da, da, da. So if oh. I would have gone inside, they would have popped me in and nobody oh. would have known everything. So something told me not to. Uh, make a long story short, it happened. But I know that Allah says in the Quran that if a disbeliever oh. kills a believer intentionally, yeah. then Allah will take care of him in this life. And in the next life, his punishment is unrelenting.
Allah yeah. will punish him in this life. Yeah. And in the next life, the word that Allah uses is the word unrelenting. Ongoing. Ongoing. And it's never Seamlessly. Unrelenting, right? And not only that, extreme. So the word extreme. So now, what do I do? Do I live with guilt and, and anger in my heart yeah. and hatred yeah. towards this one individual? Yeah. Or do I be at peace with Allah's word? Because I know that Allah doesn't lie. Yeah. Allah is true to his word. Yeah. Allah says, take one step to me. Yeah. I will walk to you. Yeah. Walk to me, I will run to you. Yeah. Allah run to us. Yeah. We should be running to Allah. Let's, yeah. let's yeah. be real about that. So the more I got into the deen, and this is the part that when I was in prison, after the shooting, Allah didn't let me go into mainstream, kept blocking, 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 so I can find myself, find my deen, find my understanding, find the hikmah. So Allah was granting me idayah, those 14 months in solitary confinement, and I found my peace, and I understood, you know, I'm not going to lie, you know, I forgave the guy. When I say I forgave the guy, if he was in front of me, I'd probably attack him and maul him. I have to be honest with you because the emotions are real. Yeah. When I say I forgave him, I forgave him in a sense so I can find peace in my heart where I don't hire people to kill him. Mm. I don't pay money to kill him or I don't go after him and kill him. Right? Because that was my intentions to yeah. do that. So, I because and, and, I got deported to Malaysia, mm. uh, to, to my country and I came to Malaysia. So, if I had to focus on getting him killed and getting him assassinated and doing all that, I, I wouldn't be living my life. Yeah. I would have no time for dawah. Mm. I don't think my deen will be. Yeah. Allah says, a knife for an eye, a nose for a nose, yeah. a tooth for a tooth, a ear for a tooth. A wound, equal to a wound. Shot yeah. my son in the heart. I should just shoot him in the, yeah, heart. the heart. And we, that's the equal wound. You know? Allah says, but if you forgive, mm -mm. it's an act of an atonement. Oh. So I forgive in that sense. Mm -mm. But I'm not going to lie to you and the viewers, if he was in front of me, yeah. I'd probably maul him yeah. and, and take all these motions and avenge my son and honor my boy. So when I say forgive, I forgive the sin so I can live peacefully and not have him in my mind, destroy my thoughts, run hatred through my heart, not have trust for others. It creates so much chaos and so much disturbance mm. that my life will be based on evil intentions. Mm. And I've never been evil, brother. I've done some evil things mm -hmm. because, you know, that's a lie. So I, I let him go mm -hmm. and go uh, oh, in my Allah. life. But like I said, if you walk through the room now, I can't, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. promise it's you. It's natural, it's natural. Yeah, I'd probably maul him. That's the truth. But uh, alhamdulillah that, uh, you know, and my son, you know, like yesterday, I just want to say thank you to you guys mm -hmm. and to the uh, organization, to Brother Fatih. And, uh, you know, you guys were amazing. It took me by surprise. Mm -hmm how you honoured my son, the reenactment, mm -hmm. the way you guys did mm -hmm. on stage, um, was extremely respectful uh, and beautiful in the very essence of the word. Mm -hmm. So much so that I couldn't watch it because it was uh, very emotional. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for that. And you see, this is the beauty about Islam. Mm -hmm. They say they're dead. Mm -hmm. Allah says, you, you, you think that they are dead, mm -hmm. the, die, the guys that die shaheed mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. Because that's what he did. He died protecting his papa. You know? yeah. That's the truth. You can't take that away from him. It's just the reality of that. Facts. And if people don't like it, they can eat, uh, bite their own elbows. That's the fact. You know. You and my brother was crying when 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 you said that. I mean, that's very emotional. I mean, my brother said that. How can he he teach his son really that that want to protect the dad? I mean, that. Well, he that's what he he, he was there to protect my father. He said that uh, uh, my son wouldn't do the same way if in that position. I don't know. How, 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 you don't know. If, Can I just say this? Mm. I want to tell you something beautiful about my son. Mm. I didn't know this because I was locked up in prison. Mm. So when my, my stepson passed away, mm. I was locked up in prison for 14 months. Mm. Imagine my son gets shot, killed. I get shot and they lock me up. You never had a chance to no, to avenge. No, I couldn't. I was locked up in prison. Oh. The, the government put me there. He goes, we don't want to, uh, uh, you know, um, we safety were... to the community. Safety yeah. to the community. I said, what? Safety to the community. You don't want to let me out because of the safety. They, to they, the should say, they tried to mm -hmm. get me for drug, drug charges, but it didn't work. Oh. They tried to get me for gun charges and it didn't work. So I thought Allah had victory for me mm. at the end of this. But when I got out, I sat with my ex-wife, who was the mother of Johnny. We divorced and I sat down and... She said something to me. I never knew about this. I never knew this. 
it, it, it's a bit hard to talk about it because it's very emotional. But I just want to tell you the, mm. the man this young man was. And I want to make it very clear. Mm. Please don't edit this part. Mm. Let me honor my boy, please. Um, he was 10 times the man that I will ever be in all aspects of the world. He was the most kindest, most respectful. He never said no to his mother, gentle, good to his siblings, loyal, soldier, and very, very protective of his father, stepdad, in every aspect of the world. And when, I've met, when I say I've met gangsters and I've met killers and all that, I have, and they all speak the hype, you know? But he was really loyal. He was really the real, he was the real deal for me. And I never knew this. So when I got out, I was sitting with the ex-wife, the mother, mm. and talking about Johnny. He goes, I don't know if you know this, I just want to let you know mm. that I was convinced, trying to convince my son, to me she was saying, convince our son, Johnny, not to go with you. Because there was a few attempts on my life, shootings, mm. legs, so it was a very, very dangerous time around me. Anyone that was around me had the opportunity of getting shot in the cross mm. crossfire. So the mother, uh, sorry, uh, to her defense, to her defense, mm. she wanted to protect her son. Mm. And she said to him, I didn't know this. Mm. Uh, now, mind you, he's passed away, I'm yeah. in prison, I get out and I, mm. and I hear this story. And it broke me, it brought me to tears, you know, so much. And this is the man I want yeah. to tell you, he's a young man. He's never said no to his mum, ever, ever, ever. He's always been the best, the best of, uh, of sons. Really, I mean that from my heart. This kid was incredible. Beautiful lips, smile, infectious. And she said to him, I don't want you to go with your father. She goes, Mom, what do you mean? She goes, I don't want you to go with your father. She said to him, it's dangerous. There's, there, there, there are things that's going on there. I don't want you to go with your father. This is dangerous, one, two, three. You know what he said? For the first time in his life, he said, Mom, I'm sorry, I have to say no to you. What, excuse me? She goes, I love you, Mom, but I can't. Why, why do you want to go with your father? It's so dangerous. He goes, because mom, I'm the only one he can trust. Mashallah. And that day that that was said, two hours later he died. So that's the, that's the character of this young man, you know, the stature. And, uh, and the good thing about um, Islam and my level of da'wah, that is a, a little bit extreme uh, <laughs> in the in the dress codes to other other brothers that give dawah, but my level of dawah, when I speak it, we're always honouring my son. Mm. It's a connection between the yes. dean and my boy. Two beautiful things in my it's, life, you know. That's an ins inspiration. Yeah. It's, he, he's an inspiration. His story. He, he, the youth have to listen to him. He loved Allah. He loved Islam. Mm. He loved to pray. Mm. Yes, we did some wrong things and you know, sinful things and things like that because we were just Muslims, we were just reverts. We didn't know, you know, we were learning. And, but uh, he's never said no, he only said no to his mother once and... Uh, and then that's the goes, last one. That was his last one. And last he said, one. he said, Mom, I'm so sorry, I can't, let, I, I, I have to. She goes, why, why? Because I'm the only one he can trust, I need to protect Papa. And that's exactly what he did. Wow. He, shot, he got shot for his father. I heard that he died, you in, see, he died in your arm. Yeah, like, so what happened, uh, the assassin, so my, my, I tell you quickly, my son was sitting at the front of the car, at front yeah. of the, so in our culture, when a friend, of his, a friend of your father or an older man, you jump out of the front seat and you give it to the older person or the friend of the father. Yeah. It's called respect. So that's what he did. He jumped at the back of the car. Yeah. The other guy, the shaitan, jumped at the front yeah. and we drove. Yeah. Now, if he didn't do that and the guy sat at the back, I'd be shot in the head and he'll be shot in the head and yeah. we'd be done with it. So based on that respect that we taught my son. Oh, the assassinator is in the same car? Yes. I'm, I'm Are you driving together with him? Yeah, b yes, because oh. I picked him up because we had an arranged meeting oh, to I do a $20 million. I thought stuff. he was in a different car and you being pa 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 No, 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 no. He, he, he deceived the situation because oh. it was close to me. They okay. used him to get close to me because no one can get close to me. Yeah. So he did. So he jumped in the car, we went and we started talking about a big drug deal. Mm. Very big drug deal, so much money that yeah. that was it for me. If this came through, I would not do anything anymore. Mm. I was going to live that li leave that life. But his intentions were different. We were meant to meet for that deal, mm. but then I think somebody got to him, offered him the nine hundred thousand dollars as we know now. Mm. So he came, made out that he was speaking about the meeting. Mm. We drove, got back in the car. Then when he said park here, I'll walk back. Mm. 
my, I'm, I'm in the driver's seat here now, right? Mm -hmm. So my, Johnny gets out of the back seat. Mm -hmm. He gets out of the front. Mm -hmm. Johnny comes to the front seat, turns around, says see it to him, goodbye. Boom, shoots Is. him in the, And shoots him one bullet into the heart. The last words I heard was, Papa, ah, Papa. And that was me calling me. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed him by the shirt and I pulled him in. Mm -hmm. And while I pulled him in, the assassin, boom, boom. From my outside? Four bullets in me. On, from the, from outside? From, 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 his, from outside or from the, from the, you, so, from the seat? So the door where he's, Johnny's, like I'm here, mm -hmm. Johnny's there. He put his arm inside the car, and boom, 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 and shot at me. That's when I ducked and it hit my nerve, uh, my back. If I didn't duck, it would have gone through my neck mm -hmm. and I would have bled. So alhamdulillah, so while we were driving, while we were driving, I was watching my, 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 my stepson Johnny look at lifeless with his beautiful, you know, he had beautiful green eyes, yeah. you know. He had this beautiful eyes, green, I can never forget, crystal green eyes. And he was look, looking up like, he, I can see that he was dead. I wasn't silly, but a part of me wished he was alive, you know. So while I was driving, I grabbed his mouth. You know, and blow in his mouth to keep him alive. And I remember hearing something that I would hear when I was a kid. You know, when you get your milk, your milk bottle, and you blow into the straw, and it makes the bubbles. Yeah. So that's what I would hear when I was blowing, uh, blowing my breath into his mouth. I can hear the blood, the bubble, and I knew. You know.